Hello there and welcome to Star Wars 1000. Star Wars question of the day, can Mara Jade become canon? If we're talking about just the character herself, with no, like forgetting about her being the wife of Luke Skywalker, then yeah, I think there is a good amount of room for her to fit and become canon. And honestly, I don't see why no one will not want her to become canon unless they dislike the character. Me personally, Mara Jade is one of my all-time favorite Star Wars characters and I would love for her to become canon. And honestly, she could even become Luke's wife. Like, we don't know what happens in the 30 years between episodes 6 and 7. 30 years, there's so much that could have happened. Luke could have had a wife that we don't know about, and Luke could have had a kid. Yes, why weren't they mentioned in the sequel trilogy? Well, why wasn't Ahsoka mentioned in the prequel trilogy? I mean, the stuff Star Wars has done this for years now. I, I think she can become canon. I think there's room between episode 6 and 7 to introduce her maybe like in the mandalorian or any of the other shows the ahsoka show she could be introduced her character and her character arc can fit into the canon obviously not some of the things from legends don't end up happening but they're recreating the throne trilogy essentially in live action with these star wars shows that take place in between episode 6 and 7 the mandalorian the book of boba fett the ahsoka show all these shows seem like they're leading up to this big Thrawn trilogy event. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're like... I don't know if they're going to turn into a TV show or into a movie. But that's why I, f I have a feeling these shows are leading up to. But they could absolutely introduce her in whatever th has to do with Thrawn or anything. I I'd honestly really would like her to come back into can or come into canon from Legend. And they could also make her Luke's wife as well. And honestly, they could help bringing her into canon and put her somewhere in the timeline make her luke make her luke's wife they can help explain more into detail for why luke was the way he was in the last jedi and i actually thought going into episode eight that a reason for why luke was so upset and it seems like he's given up on so much hope and everything could have been because maybe his wife got killed mara jade or his son got killed or his daughter or whatever well, actually, I kind of thought Ray. I thought originally my theory was uh, Ray was the daughter of Luke, and he thought she died or went missing or whatever, and his wife got killed or whatever, you know. So I, I, I don't know. I'm not saying like have the, I'm not saying like just have her be a plot device to explain Luke's character arc because she she herself can have a character arc in the canon, but I think it could help explain explain a few things for the people that did not like what they did with Luke in the Last Jedi and felt like the reasoning for why he did what he did wasn't good enough so maybe like Mara Jade getting killed at some point in between episode 6 and 7 could help flesh out Luke's arc to how he became what he was in the Last Jedi and I think that would help some fans understand some things for some more because that's canon and the only thing they could do now to appease the fan base that has a serious problem with Luke being the way he was in The Last Jedi, and including my, I'm not saying I hated the way he was in The Last Jedi, I don't think it was handled the best, it's just my personal opinion, and I think having Mara Jade and possibly Luke having a son as well, in between that 30 years, maybe them dying at some point could help explain why Luke was so hopeless in uh, The Last Jedi and why he would not act like how he usually would act. So Mara J could absolutely become canon. I think the fans would love it. I, me personally, would love her to become canon. Her Seeing her in live action would absolutely blow my mind and they get her character arc from Legends and apply it to the canon. I think I'd lose my mind. I think having Mara J into canon would be such a great idea and I think Luke having a wife and possibly having a kid in between episode 6 and 7 would be an, another great idea and I, I know some people wouldn't want them just to come in to die but give them character arcs you know before they die at some point in between episode 6 and 7 I don't think I honestly don't think they will bring her into canon unfortunately if they do bring her into canon she won't be Luke's wife which I'd be okay with it but a little bit disappointed at the same time because I think what she has with Luke in Legends is something really great. And she could also have something great with Luke in canon. 
But if she's brought into canon and she's not Luke's wife and she's just herself without Luke, and I, I th I'd be okay with that. Just to have her into canon would be great. So to wrap up the video, may the force be with you always.